Brain tech, yeah, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft started rolling out the first wave of new features for Windows 11 version 22H2, also known as the Moment 1 update. Now, as I did mention in that video, which I will leave a link to in the description, um, one of the new features that was listed for the update was the new Photos app, which Microsoft did say was only going to roll out near the end of October. Now, um, we are now on the 27th of October in my region, and just like Microsoft did announce near the end of October, I have noticed this morning that my Photos app was updated to the new Photos app with the Moment One update. And it's got a new icon and logo. And if we open the new Photos app, as I have mentioned previously, it's got a whole new brand new look and feel for Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, um, this is by no means going to be a comprehensive in-depth guide and tutorial about the new Photos app, but just a brief overview as to some front facing features just to give you a general idea as to what the new app is all about and um, in case you hadn't received it yet or would be interested now um on the left here we can see uh, we have a new navigation uh, menu and side panel which you can minimize and maximize and we have better onedrive integration now and that's my personal account and we have now onedrive memories which is now integrated into uh, the photos app so if you do have a lot of personal photos and so on and images those will be, um, come up here and show up here as memories and also as mentioned by microsoft next month uh, in november if you do use icloud you can also get Arc icloud integration will also be rolling out to the new photos app as well and then we get a favorites here and then we get the different folders where pictures are located and then in the bottom left we have our onedrive personal storage now um, as I did post on in another uh, previous video, if we just head to the uh, start menu quickly, ClipChamp um, rolled out with the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update, as many of you know, and is now the new inbox video editor in version 22H2. And um, the new Photos app is going to replace the current Photos app. So when this update um, to the new Photos app does take place on your device, it will replace the old Photos app and will no longer include the legacy video editor. So if you head down to the legacy video editor, it's just an icon and a shortcut now, and you won't actually open the legacy video editor anymore. And um, if you click on that now, it takes you to the new photos app, and then it comes up with this menu, start editing in ClipChamp, which is now the uh, inbox video editor, as mentioned for version 22H2 or photos legacy. And um, you can get ClipChamp if you haven't got it or you've uninstalled it, or you can click on Get Photos Legacy, and that will take you um, to the Microsoft Store where you can download the Legacy Photos app with the Legacy Video Editor if for whatever reason you don't like the the look and feel of the uh, the new Photos app and ClipChamp. Now, I'm um, just heading back to the actual app. Um, if we um, click on the settings, the settings menu, um, as as we can see, received a visual redesign and upgrade. And just to go through this, um, yeah, they give you another opportunity to get ClipChamp and so on. You can also get the Legacy Photos app straight from here as well. So the settings menu has also received a bit of a redesign. You can choose your theme and so on. But that's just a brief overview um, of the new Photos app. And um, if you would like to see if you have it, just head over to the microsoft store and just check for updates in the microsoft store and um, if, it, if it hasn't update, updated automatically just seeking and checking for updates in the microsoft store um, may and should if you are upgraded with the first moment one update for windows 11 version 22h2 that should then upgrade you now to the new photos app as mentioned so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one